This is Nilanjan Ghosh from Informatica Global Customer Support and today we are going to see how to migrate a repository service from 961 to 10.2. So today's agenda would be to back up the existing repository contents from 9.6. This is just for contingency purposes. We will be disabling the repository service in 961. The next step would be to create a repository service in 10.2 admin console with the same name as 961 and also pointing to the same schema that we have in 96. Then we will be copying over the site key from the 961 environment to 10.2 as site key underscore old which means that we are not going to touch the site key in the 10.2 environment which resides under infra home isp config keys directory we are just going to copy over the 961 site key and rename it and place it into the 10.2 keys directory as site key underscore old and then we will be upgrading the repository contents so let's go through the process so I already have a repository, the report test migration. I'm going to back up the repository contents and I'll repo test one and replace existing file in case it already exists. And we'll click OK. So it will back up the repository contents. If you're already taking a backup on a daily basis, you might not need to do this step. So the backup is already done we will be disabling the service the next step would be to copy over the site key from the 96 environment and then place it into the ISP config keys directory of 10.2 as site key underscore old so I I have already done this and the commands are ready so I will just copy over the command so if you see I am copying over the 96 ISP config keys directory site key to 102 ISP config keys as site key underscore old so we are so before this step I would like to show you we are in the 10.2 and we don't have the we only have the site key for 10.2 and we don't have the 96 site keys so we are going to basically copy it over okay so now we will go to the 10.2 admin console and create the repository service with the same name as the 961 so let's take a look report test migration okay and license uh, primary node uh, we will be selecting the same database which is okay and UTF so we will say content exists under the specified connection string do not create contents will finish it should create and then we will be enabling the service in 10.2 so this is available now and the repository version is 184 is incompatible so we it needs a upgrade so we are going to actions repository contents upgrade will give the username password for the repository contents and then click OK so executing action and it's going to upgrade the repository contents so what it is going to do in the background is it is going to read the site key underscore old of the 96 site key it's going to decrypt all the passwords related to the connections and then re-encrypt the all the passwords and the repository contents with the new site key of 10.2 so this is an added feature starting 9.6 to give more security uh, to the customers uh, because a lot of valuable information is stored in the repository so 
so it takes a bit of time to upgrade the repository contents because the repository version changes across major versions of Informatica for example it's 9.6 and we are migrating to 10.2 so it's available right now loading the repository contents will change it to normal mode and it will be available for the users to use okay so it's disabling the service and enabling okay Okay, so it's available and operating mode is normal, which means it's it's up and running for use. We would love to hear from you and you can email us at supportvideos at informatica.com and our Twitter handle is also here. Thank you for watching the video.